Welcome back to Real Women of Philadelphia. I'm your host, Anna Olson, and I feel so lucky to be part of this special community. Over the past year, we've shared, laughed, and cooked our way into each other's hearts. The Real Women of Philadelphia has certainly enriched my life. Today, I'm sharing a recipe that is definitely enriched by the addition of Philly Savory Garlic Cooking Cream. I've taken inspiration from a classic pasta carbonara for this dish and have turned it into a creamy risotto carbonara. What I love about this particular risotto dish is my twist that you don't have to babysit it. Now, the dish starts out like a traditional risotto. You need some oil in the pan. And because bacon is traditional in a carbonara, to achieve that oil, I've actually got two tablespoons of bacon fat left from the six strips of bacon that I've already cooked and I'm just setting it aside to drain. I've added a chopped onion to that two tablespoons and over medium heat, I've cooked the onion down until it's translucent. That's how you know it's time to add the rice. It takes about five minutes to hit that point. And I have one cup of arborio rice. That's the specific style of rice that's needed to make risotto. But before you add liquid, you have to coat the rice with a bit of the oil, the bacon fat from the pan. Once you've given your rice that minute to cook, then it's time for what's called the first flood. And usually it's something with a little acidity. I have half a cup of dry white wine I'll add. And if you prefer to steer clear of white wine, just add the squeeze of a fresh lemon. Oh, immediately it smells fantastic. That combination of wine and the onions. So now at this point, I'm stirring the risotto constantly, waiting until that half a cup of white wine is fully absorbed. And now when I pull the spoon, I can see there's no excess liquid. I can add the stock. I've got two and a half cups of chicken stock and I'll add it over four additions. There we go. I turn down the heat a little bit. So I give it a stir and in just a few minutes, I'll be ready to add the next round of stock and then all the finishing moves are saved right for the very end. Virtually all of the chicken stock has now been absorbed. Mm, al dente, still got a little give to it, so I know it's ready to finish off right now. Traditionally, a pasta carbonara is a decadently creamy dish. The addition of the Philly savory garlic cooking cream is perfect here. So I'll add the full tub and just stir it in and let it do its melting magic. Now that this is heated up, I can add about six cups of loosely packed spinach and just allow the heat of the creamy risotto to wilt the spinach down. And there we go. The finishing touches, of course, the bacon that I've set aside, a little bit of black pepper, but because of the cooking cream, I don't need to add additional salt a couple tablespoons of chopped Italian parsley for that added hit of color, and familiar to a carbonara, just a couple tablespoons of Parmesan cheese, and it's ready to serve. Doesn't this look fantastic? You can add to this dish to make it a main course, say adding some diced cooked chicken, or leave it simple as a side dish or a starter. The beauty of cooking cream is that you can easily blend it into dishes like this risotto carbonara, stir it into your favorite soup or pasta sauce for a little extra creaminess, or simply use it as a finishing touch to any family favorite. You've seen how the addition of Philly has made this dish even more delicious. Now we want to see how Philly has enriched your recipes to make them truly exceptional.